Your News for New York live update starts now. Good morning, everyone. Live look here at the Upper West Side. Final preparations underway for today's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. 726 on this Thursday morning, November 25th. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. In the news this morning, the NYPD says one of the two officers shot late last night in the Bronx could be out of the hospital today. We're told the officers were responding to reports of someone with a gun in Belmont when a man opened fire, hitting both officers. One of them was able to fire back, wounding the gunman. Sources have identified him as Charlie Vasquez, a 23-year-old with nine prior arrests. Both Vasquez and the two officers are expected to recover. Let's take a look at the morning commute. Here's Lauren Scala. Thanks, Darlene. Well, if you have one, uh, Sunday uh, is the schedule for the subways today. That's what they're operating on. But you do have southbound delays on the 2 and the 3. And if you were headed out on the C train, trains are bypassing 72nd Street. F trains are bypassing 57th. This is all because of the parade. And then over on the roads, two accidents. Uh, one on the FDR Drive northbound at 111th Street. The other on the RFK Bridge, um, Manhattan Bronxbound. But that's not causing a delay. Outside of this, you're in for a nice ride. Darlene, back to you. All right, thanks so much. We will be right back with Maria La Rosa and your holiday forecast. Now here's Maria La Rosa with the forecast. Good morning, Charlene. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. 41 right now at Central Park, 36 in Newark, 32 in White Plains. You see some clouds, sun and clouds all day today as we head up into the 50s. It's by late tonight after midnight toward tomorrow morning that we have the rain arrive. Blustery conditions once we dry out midday tomorrow. And then by Sunday, looking at some snow potential, Darlene. All right, thanks, Maria. Coming up on the Today Show, what you need to know about Black Friday shopping ahead of tomorrow's rush. We'll have another local update in a half hour. See you then. Today's weather is brought to you by Bigelow Tea. Grab a mug and tea proudly. Your News for New York live update starts now. Good morning. Here is a live look at the New Jersey Turnpike near Newark Liberty Airport. 7.56 on this Thanksgiving morning. Happy Thanksgiving. It's November 25th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Well, two NYPD officers are in the hospital this Thanksgiving morning, along with a man suspected of shooting them. The officers were shot last night while responding to reports of a man with a gun in the Belmont section of the Bronx. The NYPD says one of the officers returned fire, wounding the gunman. The suspect and the officers are expected to recover. One of the officers could be out of the hospital later today. Well, we are now about an hour away from the start of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. This year's parade is a return to pre-pandemic form after last year's was held as a TV only event because of the pandemic. Those giant balloons, floats and marching bands will begin making their way along the parade route at 9 a.m. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the roads on this Thanksgiving. Here's Lauren Scala. Thanks, Darlene. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Good morning. Only one issue on the roads causing delays right now. There's still an accident on the FDR Drive northbound by 110th Street. Outside of that, let's head over to the rails. You have delays on the 2-3 CNE subway lines. Uh, you also have some service changes on the C. Trains are bypassing 72nd Street. F trains are bypassing 57th. That's all for the parade. Darlene, back to you. Thank you very much. Here's Maria La Rosa now with your holiday forecast. And it looks good. Wind's still not an issue, and skies are a little sunny right now. We've got 42. We're headed up into the low 50s. More clouds than anything later in the day. Those showers arriving after midnight rain steadier toward tomorrow morning and then all moves out. It's gusty and colder for the rest of the day on Friday and still we have our eye on Sunday for some snow moving in by the afternoon. Darlene. Thanks Maria. Coming up on the Today Show live look from the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade route and we will have another local update in a half hour. See you then. Your News for New York live update starts now. Good morning, 826 Thanksgiving morning. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. We have breaking news now from the NYPD. Chief of Department Rodney Harrison has decided to retire. The Queens native has been with the NYPD since 1991, rising through the ranks until becoming the department's highest ranking uniformed officer earlier this year. Prior to that promotion, Harrison had been the first African American to serve as the NYPD's chief of detectives. In a statement released this morning by the NYPD, Harrison says he is extremely proud to have worked tire tirelessly protecting people and giving back to the city's communities his retirement takes effect December 30th. Well, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade will soon be making its way from the Upper West Side to Herald Square. 
The parade kicks off in about a half hour at 9 a.m. This year features 15 giant balloons, 28 floats, and 10 marching bands. Let's take a look at the roads and rails on this Thanksgiving. Here's Lauren Scala. Thanks, Darlene. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. One accident out there on the roads. FDR Drive northbound by 111th Street, so delays go back into the 90s. Otherwise, this is what the roads look like, empty. Uh, if you're getting on the rails, there are delays on Uptown 1, 2, and 3 trains. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much. Here's Maria Rosa now with your holiday forecast. And we're getting that sun in here, 42 degrees out there now. We're headed into the low 50s, sun and clouds, and then it will be the showers after midnight. Steadier rain toward tomorrow morning. That wind takes over tomorrow afternoon. It's blustery and colder, and then by Sunday afternoon, Darlene watching for some snow showers. Thanks so much. Coming up on the Today Show, a special edition of Steals and Deals to kick off the holiday shopping season. We'll have another local update in a half hour. See you then. Today's local news is brought to you by your Tri-State Ford dealers. Your News for New York live update starts now. Good morning, everybody. Live look here at the George Washington Bridge. It's 8.57 on a Thursday morning, November 25th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. We're just minutes away now from the start of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. This year's parade will include 15 giant balloons with Grogu, or Baby Yoda, as we call him, making his debut. The parade kicks off at 9 a.m. You can see it live right here on News 4 New York. Now for a look at the weather, here's Maria LaRosa. <laughs> and looks good. The sun is shining on the parade route. 44 right now at Central Park. We're headed up into the low 50s. Clouds from time to time, but the rain holds off. So you're going to have a great Thanksgiving. By tonight, though, showers move in. The rain tomorrow and then wind and colder for Friday. Darlene, thanks so much. Coming up, live coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And join us again on News 4 New York at 6 and all day long. NBCNews.com. NBCNewYork.com. Have a happy Thanksgiving.